Oh, what's that? Who's that? Is, is, is it Darth Vader? I mean, let's face it, he's his design was clearly based on Darth Vader with, with dreadlocks. They do some decent things with his design in this one. As you'll see, but... But the whole thing is... I Cabal was originally just a guy who kind of left the Black Dragon. But now it's the thing where he left the Black Dragon before he got scarred, d definitively, and he even became a cop in New York. I'm pretty sure it's New York, but yeah, he became a cop. That was never mentioned before. It's a decent addition, it's just, again, with these retcons... I mean, granted, it don't necessarily contradict anything, so it's Easy okay. There, but yeah, look... You've had a rough one. In MK3, originally his uh, burnt face was just that he had brown skin. And now he has, like, proper burns everywhere. And the thing on his uh, throat wasn't there originally. He didn't need that. But here's a... But but your lungs. That's the thing. That one could maybe argue that he got burned in a different way in this timeline because Kintaro was killed in MK2 originally. Like, that was a definitive thing. I'm a freak. Like, Kintaro died in, uh, in the MK2 tournament, so he wouldn't be here to burn Cabal. He just got burned in a different way. Honestly, it, kind of, it, could, it could have been interesting if he didn't get burned in, in this timeline. That's actually kind of interesting. Yeah, you actually get to see Cabal unburned me, before this game in Shaolin Monks. The Black Dragon ain't the same without you, mate. You should come back. We're in the money on this war. You see, I, I, like, I like that. How, how, how there's some degree of camaraderie. Where Kano, Kano's like, "Come on, mate, come back to the Black Dragon. It's not the same without you." What are you on about, eh? You're here, ain't you? I should be dead. Now you're gonna be. I wonder if he will do it or not. I wonder if he will or will not actually kill him. How can he do this? I love how it just makes his... Uh, I, I just love that. Look, just look at his, his um, cloak, how it just spazzes out. Trying to, 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 to remember what the fucking inputs were for those special moves. Oh, that's cool. See, it's cool that he gets to use his hook saw just in, in, in as attacks because I'm, I'm not sure there were actually that many moves we could do in MK3, but that was kind of an issue with MK3 overall. Like the new characters had a bit more of a reliance on weapons for for the for close-up moves, and not just not just the specials. Oh, oh, that is one of the most brutal ones in the game. You know, I. You know, just, just break the kneecaps and then smash up their um, the shoulder blades. Okay, so I think this is this is one of those games where when you do it, when you do a grab to move the opponent to the other side, you have to you have to be doing the inputs of the direction alongside um, the actual button in, uh, input for the grab. Like you can't just grab them and then choose the direction while you're holding them. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Good luck. No one gets out of Outworld without Shao Kahn say so. Outworld? Shao Kahn. Shao Kahn's a big boss round here. And soon, Earth's new master. It is kind of amusing that, that like, bother. no one in the invasion has made any kind of proclamation about Shao Kahn. I mean, you think they would. you think someone would be like, Shao Kahn's going to take over. And, and you see that, that effect on Cabal's left eye. It's, it's hard to see, but it's, it's like... Messed up, cataracty. That's him on the throne. You're a right genius, you are. It's no great and look, I will go to the Sindel with this other outfit. So this is what he, he has her dress in. Then she changes outfit for a later scene. Shang Tsung. This is something that really pissed me off. It didn't piss me off as much for, that, that much when I was doing the original review back in like 2012, but but. Looking back on it, it really pisses me off that he just killed Shang Tsung for his repeated failures. Even though Shao Kahn just as much to blame as Shang Tsung is, if not more so, for not taking more precautions in every single fucking plan he puts underway. And he's like, oh yeah, let's, let's, keep, let's just kill him so that Quan Chi can be my main guy. 
I love how Cabal just walks forward and doesn't try his super speed. No one attacks the Emperor. Oh look, Khan's Run. sitting down. Fight. See, they've already proven that they can alter the stages. Haven't they? They, they already showed that in the uh, in Khan's arena. Wait, what was that? I think that's an old movie had, but but it never really made any sense. I see. Was that? That's that's like all oh, right. That's, that's a command throw. Cool. I didn't I didn't know that this game had any. That's cool. I'm pretty sure it's a command throw. I'm pretty sure that's what a command throw is. Just an a, a, an in, an input for a throw that's not just a throw button. Come on, swap out to noob. Yes. Because I wasn't going to use that on Malene and just wait and waste all that damage potential. I, you know, one, one way they could actually made this uh, this less unfair, the, the, uh, the, the, uh, the two-on-one system in this game, is basically made it like more like uh, Tekken. See, in, in Tekken Tag Tournament, and as a result, Street Fighter, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, um, for tag matches, only one character on a team needs to be defeated for them for, the, for them to lose that round. That's the way it works. And since Ed, and Ed Boon has admitted a number of times that his favourite fighting game series is Tekken. So one would think then that they might have used something like that in this game to make these fights a bit more fair. Or, or alternatively, they could have made it that when you win a round, the opponent, the, the, the opponent you're fighting changes. Fucker. Yeah, but like, they could have made it like, like fight Melina, and then when you beat her, you switch over to fighting Noob. Fight. Or they could have made it that you, have, you only have to beat one of them to get through. See, there's so many ways this whole thing could have been made a lot more fur than it actually is in the game, because they're cheap motherfuckers. And so, I'm going to do the same. Yeah, it's not that interesting, but let's, let's face it. Nobody, nobody's actually watching this let's play. No, you'll have it up. You'll put. You'll have. You listen to it in the background, but that's it. You won't actually be watching it. No one watches it. See, that's just fucking gross. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna fucking spam these moves. Take that, you fiend! Oh, wait, what? Wait, hang on. So she tags out to noob and, immedi and immediately did a, a, an enhanced version of his uh, of his teleport move. That's bollocks. It's bollocks. Complete bollocks. Yeah, take that, you bitch. It's funny because it's, it's it's not hard to figure out who noob cyber is in uh, in this game because of the voice. I mean, yeah, granted, Jameson Price is also the announcer. Which could have been maybe to help hide who's hide the fact that Noob is is Sub Zero, but yeah. Actually, no, because no, he has he has the same voice as the original Sub Zero. But I think that that could have been an interesting approach if Noob's voice was different from both Sub Zeros, and then and then because Noob doesn't appear until both Sub Zeros have been captured, but the one thing killed has been captured. So once they're both out of the story. Which could have made for an, an interesting approach to the, the, the proceedings by having it that um, you don't know which Sub Zero is Noob Cyber in this timeline. Because remember, the developers did claim that the Sub Zero feature in the game is actually the, ori the original, which obviously gave off the impression that no, the original Sub Zero is not going to die in this in this game, in this new timeline. It will instead be, um, you know, and it will instead be the younger one who becomes Noob, if anyone. Or alternatively. That the leaked other stuff with Sub Zero, what's become of the uh, younger Sub Zero, would actually happen to the Elder instead. Instead of becoming noob. See, it's, it's, it's like in Phantom Menace where the Jedi can use super speed but, and they do it once and never do it again. So why doesn't Cabal do it again? Or earlier? And don't expect anything great out out of Cabal in this game. You know, he's he's got a, a, a he's got some alright story elements, but they don't really do anything with him. This speed's incredible. 
This is a side effect of the alcohol magic. You are not talking I'm not sure which cyborg it showed. Yeah. Says who? Sub Zero. Yeah, there you go. Sub Zero's the cyborg now. You say that like it means something. I'm more sold than the others. His design is based on Predator. And so this got leaked before the game came out. That Sub Zero becomes Cyber Sub Zero. But I don't I'm not sure they ever actually um I'm not, I'm not sure they actually said any, said anything about Noob in the game. I'm sure they must have announced that Noob was going to be present. So yeah, Cyber Sub-Zero actually has a completely different moveset from normal Sub-Zero. It's, it's not like Cyrax and Sector or Shang Tsung. It is completely different. It's completely different. And he's just having like a different form for the same character. I wonder if they did that. I wonder if they did that partly to get a, to get around one of the the, uh, the game systems, which I, I will get I will will get into later on. Oh shit! So I've only had two fights now. Hmm. Yeah. The, uh, none of the cyborgs actually return to, um, to return MKX. At least as playable characters. I'm not sure if any of them appear in the story, but the ones that but I. It, even the ones that that, um, that might still be alive by the end of M by the end of this game, I already had him because it's a complete edition. It's just there for the for the trophy and achievement, though. Not as cool as you thought. Yeah. So. Why do you turn on your brother, Lin Kuei? There's she, there's Shiva, and she's showing off her ass. You do not appear human. Don't let the mask fool you. Yeah, brilliant dialogue. And again, like this, this, this conversation with Shiva didn't have to happen. I mean, the other fights actually feel quite natural, but this one did not. I, I, I think, I, I think in the going through the original, in the original review, I actually went through and actually worked out which story chapters actually made sense. Like with every single fight actually felt natural, without any of them feeling forced. And I think there was like one out of all sixteen. But yeah, so. Like, none of the cyborgs actually return in, in MKX. I was lucky. Yeah, not, none of the cyborgs return, but they did in include a new character in DLC for Combat Pack 2 called Triborg. Which is the logical way of doing things. Each character in MKX has three variations. So basically, Triborg is a new cyborg character who mimics the powers of the other three cyborgs. Or, as it actually turns out, four. Because even even though Smoke doesn't become a cyborg in this timeline, at least not as far as I know, uh, he yeah, even though he doesn't become, become a cyborg in the timeline, there is still a Cyber Smoke variant. So I don't know, maybe he does become a cyborg in MKX. I don't know. Starting to feel like the old days. And if you do know, don't spoil it for me. Or I will call you out as being a complete cunt when I review MKX. You have great power indeed. And I'll probably do a let's play of MKX as well. You're the lightning guy. You help Striker. Striker is he? he is safe. Yay. He has joined us in the fight against Shao Kahn. We would welcome your Striker is all right. Sub Zero. That which made him. I don't know what. Why the the gave smoke this friend. outfit? What they did to him. It looks awful. It is hideous. I mean, you're right. We gotta help him if we can. See, I, I do like this. Like, there's good, good character potential here with Cabal, where he he sees the parallels in in of, with Sub Zero in himself. 